Hello, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to quickly set up your mic uh, so you can easily mute it in game with a hotkey. So when you're on stream and you want to just talk to stream, you don't want your teammates to hear you, you can just uh, press the hotkey and uh, your teammates won't hear you. Doesn't matter what game because it kind of is doing it outside of the game. But just before I get into it, I'm just going to, I've been thinking about a lot what I want to do on this channel and I still want to continue it and I've basically decided that I'm going to start like a video uh, podcast series where I'm going to interview small to medium sized streamers uh, from around 50 to kind of 300 viewership um, and really go deep on like their strategy looking at like acquisition, retention, networking and it kind of be like an hour, hour and a half long chat. Uh, with these people because I just feel like there's just no content on YouTube like that. There's lots of education about how to do this, do this, post TikToks, post YouTube videos, but there's no actual like content that's showing how people are actually taking that education and implementing it. Um, so I'm going to be looking for different creators that are really kind of pushing out the boat, growing, trying new things to help hopefully inspire others um, with new ideas and, and new ways of thinking. Because I know from, from, for me personally, whenever I, I gain most of my inspiration and new ideas from watching other streamers and thinking, okay, I could do that, but slightly turn it into my own way. So that's kind of what I want to do. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm just in the planning process at the moment, but hopefully we'll get that uh, kind of started within the next month. All right, let's get into it. Right, first of all, what you want to do is download uh, Voice Meter Banana. So just go on Google, type in Voice Meter. I'll put the link in the description. First one hit. Uh, go on voice meter banana um, and uh, download right here. So download that. I've already got it downloaded on my computer, so I'm not going to go through that. Second thing you want to do is then go on virtual audio cable here um, and download uh, these driver packs here, the VB cable, uh, just this first one here, and download that. Save it, install it. You'll have to un probably unzip it uh, and, and just install the drivers, probably restart your PC as well. So do all that, restart your PC. And what you should be left with in your settings menu under sound is if you go under sound and then input, you should have these two new ones here. Uh, ignore all my other ones here. You've got uh, voice meter output uh, in brackets, VB audio voice meter, VAO, VAO, I say that. And then voice meter aux output. These are basically both the, the virtual outputs. So you've got your mic coming into your PC and then these two virtual outputs are basically creating like, as I said, like two outputs of, of this of this uh, this mic. Um, but you don't have to worry about that. I still have mine set as my mic here. I'll plug it in. I haven't actually plugged it in. I'm super organized in this video. I can tell you, I can't get it in. There we go. Right, <laughs> I've got it in. I've got it in finally. Look, as you can see there, look, that's my mic there. So you want to open up Voice Meter Banana. And as you can see here, I have, so under... Hardware input, you can put it under any of the hardware inputs. You right, just left click it uh, and select your mic. And then if you've done it right, you should now be able to see uh, your mic coming up here. And basically, I'm not gonna go to the ins and outs of this, but basically what this is doing is, this program is taking your mic input, putting it into this program, and then it then allows you to then um, push it out as an output as like a as a as a ver using one of the virtual outputs that you downloaded so it will be uh either uh <coughs> voice me this voice me output or vo voice me aux output they're represented by these two channels here uh if you look under the master section here uh you can see that there's that one of them is voice meter output and one of them is voice meter aux output no idea why I don't know why, how this works, why it works, like this and there, it just does. You also need to set your hardware output. Um, I've, do you know what, I've played around with this and it seems to work on different ones, I'm not quite sure. Mine works on Realtek Digital Output. You might have to have a play around with it, everyone's system is different. Uh, mine works on Realtek Digital Output or it also works on uh, the speakers, Realtek Audio Output. So just pick whatever is kind of in your sound output here. Uh, and that should be, uh, should be, should it should work hopefully. If not, then just, just play around with it. And right, so as you can see here, uh, both of these uh, are producing sound. I can mute both of these, and this is kind of where it works. So, what you want to do next is set up a a macro like hotkey. So what you want to do here is go on menu. Uh, 
untick that. Run macro buttons on voice minutes. Starting to bring up your macro buttons here. Want to then right click on any one of these and it'll bring it up. I'll just bring up the one that I've already done. Push to mute. So I've actually got mine. I have mine. So if I if I press the hotkey, it mutes. Um, if I press it again, it unmutes. But you can have it so that you just hold it down. Not very convenient. It depends how you're using it. Just copy what I've done here. You don't have to name whatever whatever you want. Uh, so you, as you see here, look, you can have it as push or, or two positions. So on off or just hold it down and it, and it mutes. So I have it two positions personally. Set your uh, keyboard shortcut. You can set to color if you want. And then this is the important bit here. This is what you want to um, copy into uh, the boxes here. So bus in brackets four. Uh, full stop mute equals zero uh, and this allows me to kind of mute it on and on and off and that's it then so just copy that right and that will put it on uh, bus channel four here uh, if I change that to three it would put it on uh, the next one there so if I okay that and if I just press f6 look you can see there look it actually moves and this is where I'm actually going to show you my magic foot pedal I don't know whether it's going to reach. Oh, it does. So I use a, I use, I use a three foot pedals, very clean as you can see. Uh, where I, I used to have. So I have one on my gaming PC, one on my streaming PC. Uh, my streaming PC manages all my Discord, so I have like mute, deafen, something else. This one is for my gaming PC. So uh, as you can see there, look, uh, it mutes it. So it's, it's so uh, because I often play on controller. Uh, it's very inconvenient for me to take my hand off my controller and press the hotkey to mute. So you don't need three. You can probably get away with one. Uh, you could set this one. I used to have this like mute my mic uh, on stream when I didn't have a Go XLR and I found myself sometimes wanting to mute myself on stream. I'd set this to mute to stream. Uh, and if you want to know how to do that, I can show you another video. But that's quite simple. It's, when, you, when you want to mute to stream as well, that's when I was utilizing both of these because uh, this would be mute to stream. Uh, and this would be mute to um, mute to game, uh, and so yeah, I, I'll put, I'll post a link down to to this one. I got it's like twenty five quid. I mean, if you're spending x amount of money on Go XLR and streaming PC, you, you can afford a foot pedal. Honestly, game changer. Get yourself one of these. You can get individual ones if you don't want uh, three as well. But you can map these to anything if you wanted. And so yeah, so like now I'll show you basically what that is doing is that is muting. Uh, my mic that's coming in here and then and then this is essentially the virtual output represented by um represented by uh voice meter uh, aux output and so all you then need to do is in your game settings is to change your input device to uh voice meter aux output um and so then whenever you then w when you play your game load up load up voice meter whenever you then decide to press the press the foot pedal or the hotkey that is then muting that the the mic input to the game and uh not not on stream uh and that's that's basically it uh it's kind of as simple as that really i think the yeah the the, the basic setup is simply just having one channel uh set a hotkey map it to your foot pedal uh and then just use your foot pedal to go on and off uh when you want to uh take uh your mic off i hope you enjoy the video i hope that was useful i just really wanted to just show how quick and easy it is to just set it up like so just follow what i've done and it, and it should work like uh, just make sure you load up voice meter when you go into the game and just make sure you've got the right output selected for the channel uh, and you should be good